Hello there, I'm another Magento dev. Real quick video today, and, I, and it's in response to some of the comments I've been getting on, on my sort of upgrade videos. So the videos I did going through upgrades to 2.4.5. And I think this is one of the one of the issues, I, if I hadn't been asked it in comments, I've, I've been asked it a lot uh, by, by devs, um, is, is this error when you're upgrading from any Magento really, any any sort of 2.4 version to the latest version, whatever version that was, this applies to like upgrades from 2.4.2 to 2.4.3, 4.4. I'm currently doing one now and this error has popped up and it made me think I'm, I'll do a video quickly to, to show you how to resolve it. So it's, it's an error with Laminas and essentially you generally get the error with Laminas and, and this is going from 2.4.4 to 2.4.5 and I'm getting the Laminas error. And now I haven't got the foggiest why I'm getting it on that later version because as far as I was aware, Laminas needed to be installed yonks ago. Um, so what you need to do basically is identify, first of all, in your composer, whether Laminas is there. And, it, and as you can see, it's not, it's nowhere on this install uh, in terms of composer, in the composer. So it's, it's this area that you get here, look, you get a Laminas dependency plugin error. And as I say, nine times out of 10, it's because it isn't there. So how you resolve it is you simply just um, install Laminas. And there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, you can sort of put it in, um, put, it, put, put the bits in manually, you know, put the sort of, reference the plugin if you like manually in um, in Composer you know like copy and paste in basically these commands but what I'm going to do is to make sure that it goes in properly I'm going to Composer require these two packages um, and it is Composer oh, require and then Laminas, Laminas dependency plugin see it's added it there Should have done. And added it as it. So maybe we need to serialize one first because there's two essentially. Well, actually, if this don't work, obviously I will edit this video because there's another way. Could have sworn I did this before. No, it's not having it. It's not having it, and it's some conflict I've got because I've tried to. Because I've tried to do it anyway. Anyway, what I'm going to do is see if this works. So I'm just going to bung. Uh, I'm just going to bung in the Laminas plugin dependencies and the requirements, and also it needs to be in allowed plugins as true. Where's config and then you want another section in here um, and you can go allowed uh, plugins and it takes an object and the object is lamina maybe because I was spelling it wrong you know which is nah, it won't because I was spelling it wrong. That, that's okay. Um, no, I've added them in manually, uh, and then you put forward slash and to say anything within a laminas uh, package, and then just just true. Right, let's just try now. Composer update. So now it should find that. Okay, so I'm getting an error on PHPMD because um, the root composer, the root composer plugin requires PHPMD. 
So essentially, you want to be adding this to your dev dependencies if it doesn't already exist. It does. Is it the version that's it's not quite right? Yeah, we need a higher version, but it should have should have gone and got it. Right, I'm gonna try this. So what I'm doing is I'm just clearing vendor folder and then I'm gonna run it as an install. Because I know that all my references in Composer are all correct. So it wasn't, it was something to do with the Composer update command. And obviously I started this video halfway through an upgrade. And to be perfectly honest, I might have fucked up further up the chain. I should have watched one of my videos. But we'll see, we'll see how this goes through. Um, and hopefully this video just gives you an idea on how you can sort of uh, work your way through these upgrade pl uh, problems um, from different sort of methods of trying to get these things through because I do get a lot of comments on these videos and I, I can't get my head around all of them to be honest because they are, they are quite out of context when I just see a comment saying oh, I've got this problem, that problem with a with an upgrade um, which I, I sympathise with you because you do get them. Um, I do get them. As, as a, this, is all, this is an actual project of mine. That I'm uh, that I'm struggling to upgrade right now, so hopefully it's uh, it's going to go through at the end, hopefully, and hopefully by me sort of talking through some of the ways in which I get around these problems, you're gonna um, pick up a thing or two that you can apply, even if it's not exactly the same error. And I started this off on the uh, on the Laminas track, but I've quickly it's quickly sort of pivoted as Magento does, and Magento upgrades in particular. And hopefully you'll you'll be able to apply the these sort of uh, these sort of methods to to your particular issues. Just let this finish up now. It's taking a while. To the archives, which um, sometimes takes a while, not as long as it takes me to finish a sentence sometimes, but still quite a while. Come on. Right, so we've ran Composer. I'll, 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 I'm going to recap on what I've just done there. So I'm just going to run Bin Magento version. Wow, it's slow today. Right, so it's still telling me we're on 2.4.4. And that's because I think I've straightened everything out. But I want it to upgrade to 2.4.5, right? Um, so now I'm going to try Composer Update on the new vendor folder.
Okay. Okay, so I've done a couple of things there. Is I've manually configured, or if you like, overwritten the p depend require dev. And I also deleted my composer lock file. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's false, basically broke its back. Said to it, look, you are using this. Because now look, PHP and these are actually upgrading now. Look, to, can you see here? These these two, up there, there, right, okay. Right, you couldn't apply the patch for the Magento module email patch. Right, okay, yeah. So these were patches from. Um, these were agent or like what they're called. These were security patches installed a while back, which I wonder if they're covered now. I wonder if they're covered, and I don't need to try and install them again. So I've removed them from Composer. Um, So that's something to look out for. I've never known that happened before, got to be honest. Okay. Out again. Notice everything came back in there. It was all missing, wasn't it? Now, what is it actually? Why is it actually deleted those? Anyway, 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 anyway. anyway. Let's just have a quick test of where we are. Right. So according to this, we're now upgraded. Um, I am worried about what went on in the file system there, but I suppose this is the ebb and flow of a general upgrade. Let's see if we can run the big four. Obviously you've seen me make some mistakes. You've probably been screaming at your screen. Uh, but what I want is for the people that, for the, for the people that are less experienced, or the beginners like, just to see how I sort of wrangled around that, um, basically. <coughs> I just want to make sure that the store builds. Um, but that one, obviously it wasn't an ideal process. Well, sometimes, let's be honest, you get yourself into a bit of a pickle. And this was the, one of those occasions. So I'm going to put it out. Um, I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna let this run through. So I, I did a few things there. There's a few things to look out for. I removed some 
earlier patches. I think that was key at the end there. Um, I also um, faffed about with packages within Composer. Um, I do like to be tactile with Composer and work in it and, and actually change values and run installs um, rather than trying to require things because the dependency chain always confuses me. Um, it's one of them things where, you know, I might be a Magento developer, but I'm not 100%, you know, comfortable with Composer. I like to feel my way through it. I like to see things. Um, also, I've cleared, you saw me clear my, my vendor folder and just run Composer install. Now that sometimes is, a, is, is good practice because essentially what I always have to keep in mind with my projects is I will be at some point um, up deploying this, deploying this to my server. And the way I deploy it to my server is by running Composer install in an empty vendor folder. So sometimes I need to make sure Composer's up to date as, as I've been trying to do just then with the right packages, plugin, uh, you know, allowing Laminas, installing Laminas, which was missing. It would have been an error. Been, and, 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 and feeling my way through it. But then finally, even if even if set up, set up upgrade would have worked for me, I still would have cleared the vendor folder, vendor folder and run Composer install just to be certain that when that Composer, because it's the combination of Composer JSON and Composer Lock hitting the server at the same time and then running with my deploy commands. That's the key thing, what gets my store updated in a live environment or even in a staging server environment. So I, I like to make sure that that's, before I do anything, I make sure that Composer install gives me the version of Magento that I expect with, with no errors, which it did. So it's essentially going away, getting the packages and installing it into vendor folder. Right, so that was a different type of video. Um, usually I'd edit it down a little bit, but I haven't in this case. So. Uh, thanks for sticking around um, and if you like this type of content let me know because yeah I can I can do more um, in any case have a good day and I'll um, like and subscribe obviously gotta say that and I will see you in the next one